According to Todd Howard, Appalachia's map is four times the size of Fallout 4. He also emphasized the environment has more detail than Fallout 4, and that the game would utilize an open-world environment. Random encounters return. One player can have up to five characters under the same account. Each server has its own weather and time of day with occasional verdant seasons for better harvest yields. Due to its multiplayer nature, it is not possible to manually save, as the game instead keeps track of every action the player does, such as moving around the map or dropping an item. Players level up much faster than other Fallout games, and some players have their level in the thousands. Fallout 76 has changes in convenient quality of life features over past Fallout games. Moving away from the controversial dialogue system of Fallout 4, players can now see their full responses, and conversations often have checks for factors such as special, items and quest progress. Players can now fast travel from indoors and with enemies nearby as long as they are not attacked within 15 seconds, although caps are now required for fast travel with some exceptions. The inventory now has a tab for newly obtained items. Armor and apparel, as well as food and aid, are now distinct categories. The menu now differentiates between main and side quests. Quest markers now show the names of objectives. The player can use an easily readable semi-transparent menu HUD instead of the Pip-Boy. Players can now return to the top of the Pip-Boy menu by scrolling past the bottom item and vice versa. Floating damage numbers can be enabled in the options. Updates added the ability to quickly loot all enemies within a certain radius, corpse highlighting for unlooted enemies, and the curing absent in Fallout 4 was re-added. Items found in the world can now be used directly using a prompt instead of needing to open the Pip-Boy. Mods are currently not officially supported by Bethesda as they were in Fallout 4, although in August 2020, Jeff Gardner announced that the team were working on an official mod support system. Bethesda has not banned players for unofficial mods, though cheats or hacks are grounds for account termination. For example, players have been banned for duplicating items.